Where did white skin come from? Was it always part of human history, or did something unexpected happen along the way? Here's a fact that might shock you. If you traveled back just 10,000 years, most Europeans weren't white. Their skin was much darker, and the pale complexion we see today? Almost non-existent. So what changed? Was it evolution, migration, diet, or something even more mysterious? Scientists have traced the exact genetic mutations responsible for white skin. And the story isn't what you think. It involves ancient humans, extreme climate shifts, and a fight for survival in a new world. And here's the real twist. White skin is actually a very recent development in human history. Stick around as we uncover the true genetic origin of white skin. Trust me, this will change the way you see human evolution forever. To understand the origin of white skin, we have to go back, way back. Before history, before civilizations, before humans looked anything like they do today. Here's what science tells us. Every single human alive today shares a common ancestor from Africa. Yes, no matter your skin color, your lineage traces back to a time when all humans had dark skin. But why? Well, in Africa's intense sunlight, dark skin wasn't just common, it was necessary for survival. The reason? Melanin. This natural pigment acted like a biological shield, protecting early humans from dangerous UV radiation. Without it, their DNA could be damaged, and they could suffer from folate depletion, a crucial vitamin for fertility and healthy babies. For tens of thousands of years, this was the norm. But then, something changed. Around 50 to 70,000 years ago, small groups of humans began migrating. They left Africa, traveling north into unfamiliar lands, the Middle East, Europe, and Asia. The environment was colder, the sun wasn't as strong, and in this new world, the rules of survival began to shift. Without the harsh African sun, was dark skin still necessary? Or was nature about to rewrite the blueprint of human genetics? Stick around, because what happens next is mind-blowing. As humans moved north, something fascinating started happening. The further they traveled from the blazing African sun, the less UV radiation they were exposed to. And this posed a new problem, one that would shape human genetics forever. See, while melanin protected early humans in Africa, it also blocked the skin from producing vitamin D, which our bodies make when exposed to sunlight. In Africa, this wasn't an issue. There was plenty of sun year-round. But in Europe and Northern Asia, where sunlight was weak, dark skin became a disadvantage. Without enough vitamin D, bones weakened. Children suffered from rickets, a disease that caused deformities. Women had more complications during childbirth, and in the harsh conditions of the Ice Age, survival depended on every advantage. Over thousands of years, something incredible happened. Gradual depigmentation. Small genetic mutations led to slightly lighter skin, allowing the body to absorb more sunlight and produce enough vitamin D. And those with this trait? They were healthier, stronger, and more likely to pass on their genes. Generation after generation, skin color faded, transforming deep brown into lighter shades. But this process didn't happen overnight. It took tens of thousands of years. The question is, what were the exact genetic changes that made white skin possible? So what exactly caused skin color to change? The answer lies in genetic mutations, tiny changes in DNA that had huge consequences. Scientists have identified three key genes responsible for lighter skin in Europeans. These mutations didn't appear all at once. They slowly spread over thousands of years, giving us the diversity of skin tones we see today. The most important mutation is in the SLC24A5 gene. This gene controls how much melanin the skin produces. The mutation, which likely appeared around 8,000 years ago, significantly reduced melanin levels, leading to lighter skin. Interestingly, this mutation is found in almost all Europeans today. Then, there's SLC45A2. This mutation took depigmentation even further, making the skin even paler by reducing melanin production even more. People with European ancestry almost always carry this mutation, but it's rare in other populations. And finally, the TYR gene, tyrosinase. This one affects melanin production across all populations. A mutation in this gene can cause extremely light skin, and in some cases, even albinism. Over time, these mutations spread through natural selection, especially in northern regions where lighter skin had a survival advantage. 
But here's the twist. These changes happened relatively recently in human history. Just a few thousand years ago, the first European farmers still had darker skin. So, what really led to the dominance of white skin in Europe? That's where things get even more interesting. Believe it or not, if you traveled back 10,000 years, most Europeans weren't white. Early hunter-gatherers in Europe, people living off the land, hunting animals and gathering plants, still had dark skin. DNA from ancient skeletons tells us as they had dark complexions, dark hair, and blue or brown eyes. So when did white skin become common? The real shift happened between 5,000 and 8,000 years ago, a relatively recent change in human history. What caused it? Farming. Before agriculture, hunter-gatherers got plenty of vitamin D from eating meat and fish. This meant they could survive with darker skin, even in low UV environments. But when farming spread from the Middle East into Europe, diets changed. People relied more on grains and vegetables, which had less vitamin D. At the same time, new populations from the Middle East and Anatolia, modern-day Turkey, migrated into Europe. They carried lighter skin mutations, which started mixing with the local populations. Over thousands of years, these changes spread rapidly. The combination of natural selection, dietary shifts, and migration made lighter skin increasingly common. So why did white skin take over in Europe? Was it just a random genetic change, or was there a deeper reason? The answer lies in survival. One of the biggest challenges for humans in low UV regions is vitamin D deficiency. Our bodies need sunlight to produce vitamin D, which is essential for strong bones, immune function, and overall health. But there was a problem. Darker skin blocks UV rays, making it harder to absorb enough sunlight in places like Northern Europe, where the sun is weak, especially in winter. Over time, people with lighter skin had a clear advantage. They could absorb UV rays more efficiently, producing enough vitamin D to stay healthy. But it wasn't just about sunlight. Diet played a major role too. Early hunter-gatherers got plenty of vitamin D from eating meat and fish. But when agriculture spread, diets shifted toward grains and vegetables, which contain little to no vitamin D. This made lighter skin even more beneficial, as people relied more on sunlight for their vitamin D needs. Over thousands of years, these pressures favored lighter-skinned individuals, making white skin more common across Europe. But here's an interesting question. Did white skin evolve only once, or did it appear in different groups independently? A common myth is that white skin evolved in one place, one time, in one group of people. But the truth is far more complex. White skin didn't evolve just once, it evolved independently in different parts of the world. Let's start with Europeans and East Asians. Both groups developed lighter skin over time but through different genetic mutations. Europeans primarily carry mutations in SLC24A5 and SLC45A2, while East Asians developed different variations affecting skin pigmentation. This means lighter skin wasn't a single one-time event, it was a repeated adaptation to low UV environments. And here's another surprise, skin color changed slowly over thousands of years. It wasn't like one generation of humans suddenly became white. Instead, mutations spread gradually through natural selection and interbreeding. Now, let's bust another myth. Skin color does not define race. While people often associate lighter skin with white Europeans, the truth is skin color is just one small part of human genetic diversity. Two people can have similar skin tones, but be genetically very different. So what does this tell us? The story of white skin is not about superiority, but about adaptation. So, we've uncovered the origins of white skin. But what about other features, like blonde hair, red hair, and blue eyes? Where did they come from? Let's start with hair color. Blonde and red hair are linked to mutations in the MC1R gene, which affects melanin production. Red hair, for example, is caused by a specific variation in MC1R that leads to low levels of eumelanin, dark pigment, and higher levels of pheomelanin, red pigment. This mutation likely originated in Europe thousands of years ago and spread through random genetic drift and sexual selection, meaning people simply found it attractive. Now what about blue and green eyes? These eye colors are traced back to a single mutation in the OCA2 gene, which controls melanin levels in the iris. Scientists believe the first person with blue eyes lived around 6,000 to 10,000 years ago, somewhere in Europe. Before this mutation, everyone had brown eyes. 
But why did these features spread? Unlike skin color, blonde hair and blue eyes didn't provide any survival advantage. Instead, they likely became common due to sexual selection. People may have been drawn to these unique traits, leading them to be passed down through generations. Skin color wasn't the only thing that changed. Hair and eye color evolved too. But there's another trait that's often overlooked, hair texture. Early humans had tightly coiled, curly hair. Why? Because in the intense African heat, curly hair helped keep the scalp cool by reducing direct sun exposure while maintaining airflow. This was an important adaptation for survival. But as humans migrated to colder, less sunny environments, the role of hair changed. Straighter hair began to appear in northern populations. Why? Scientists believe it's related to two key factors. Heat retention. In cold environments, straight or wavy hair lies flatter against the scalp, helping retain body heat. Sexual selection. Some researchers suggest that traits like blonde hair, blue eyes, and straight hair may have spread partly because they stood out and became desirable in early human societies. Just like skin color, hair texture evolved in different populations over time. While East Asians developed thick, straight hair due to a gene called EDAR, Europeans saw more variation, ranging from straight to wavy to curly. Hair, eyes, and skin color are all tiny genetic adaptations, shaped by climate, diet, and natural selection over thousands of years. But at the core, all humans share the same ancestry. We're just different branches of the same evolutionary tree. So, what does all of this tell us about human evolution? First, skin color is just an adaptation, nothing more, nothing less. It evolved in response to environmental factors like sunlight and vitamin D needs. If our ancestors had stayed in Africa, we would all still have dark skin today. Second, despite how different we may look, all humans are 99.9% .9 genetically identical. That's right, whether you have dark skin or light skin, brown eyes or blue, we are all biologically the same species, with only tiny variations shaped by nature over time. Third, and most importantly, we all share a common African ancestry. Every person alive today can trace their genetic roots back to a population of early humans who lived in Africa thousands of years ago. The differences we see today, whether in skin tone, eye color, or hair type, are just minor tweaks to help humans survive in different parts of the world. But here's the big question. If these genetic traits evolved due to survival and adaptation, what other traits might change in the future? Could humans evolve new skin colors? Different eye colors? Maybe even physical features we can't imagine today. Evolution never stops. And that's what makes this story so fascinating. Now that we've uncovered the genetic origins of white skin, blonde hair, and blue eyes, let's hear from you. Did any of this surprise you? Did you know that white skin only became common a few thousand years ago? Or that everyone originally had brown eyes until a single mutation changed that? Drop a comment below and tell us what you think. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into human evolution, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps us out. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next episode. What's coming up next? We'll be exploring the mysterious origins of blue eyes, where they came from, how they spread, and why they're still rare today. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.